Hello, dear ones, Father Peter John, coming to you from All Saints Orthodox Church in Bloomington, Indiana. Christ is in our midst. Today I'm reading to you briefly from the Sayings of the Desert Fathers, uh, compiled by Benedicta Ward, translated by her. Uh, and the saying that I want to read, it's short but striking. Listen to this. It's about Abba Arsenius of the desert. It says, It was also said of Abba Arsenius that on Saturday evenings, preparing for the glory of Sunday, he would turn his back on the sun, the sun as it was setting, and he would stretch out his hands in prayer toward the heavens, till once again the sun shone on his face, and then he would sit down. So just to paint the picture then, Abba Arsenius, Saturday evening, you know it's, uh, let's say, Vespers time, and he would go outside in the desert, and he would see the sun setting. He would turn his back on the sun, which means he would face the east. And he would raise his hands in prayer. And he would stay there with his hands raised heavenward, praying until the sunrise would, the sun would rise high enough that it would show on his face, at which point he would sit down. Imagine, I mean, what is that? Let's just say 12 hours that he would stand there in the desert, in the darkness with his hands raised, totally vulnerable, right? Not guarding his body, but with his hands completely raised heavenward, wrapped in prayer for 12 hours. Why did he do this? Well, someone might, someone might criticize him. Oh, it sounds like he's trying to work uh, to get to heaven. Work salvation, that's what it is, right? No, certainly not. This is someone who uh, loves the Lord. Cannot wait, it says, for the glory of Sunday. The glory of Sunday. Sunday, the day of the resurrection. And for him in his heart, the joy of the coming resurrection of Christ. It was so great in him that all he could do in the, the anticipation of the night was make himself completely vulnerable and open and wrapped in prayer in anticipation of the glory of Sunday. How many of us approach Sunday that way? I, I hope... I hope a lot of us do. I mean, not 12 hours with our hands raised in the dark out in our yard, perhaps. But with that anticipation, it's like Holy Pascha. Think of it. Think about Great and Holy Saturday. You know, we experience the agony of, of, of Holy Friday. Uh, and, and then Saturday comes, and there's this great anticipation for Holy Pascha, the day of the resurrection. And... According to this saying, it seems that Abba Arsenius had something of that anticipatory joy every Saturday. And I think, you know, they say that every Sunday is, is a little Pascha. Every day, every Sunday is the day of the resurrection. It's not just Easter day, Pascha, you know, itself, but every Sunday. And I wonder how many of us, if we really think about that, do we really prepare ourselves to receive the risen Christ each and every week? I, I think we probably don't. You know, many of us, perhaps we go out to movies or go out to dinner or we listen to music or whatever, you know, any number of things we might do on a Saturday night. But I'd like to challenge us to do things a little bit differently, you know, maybe to go to Vespers on Saturday evening and then Think about that evening being a sanctified time, a time that is set apart for something different, a time that is set apart for the anticipation of the resurrection of Christ, of meeting the, uh, the angels at the empty tomb. As they say, why do you seek the living among the dead? He is risen, he's not here. So that we can raise our voices, our hands, our souls in prayer with Abba Arsenius to praise and glorify the all-exalted name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be.